Welcome back to the channel folks. Today we are going to be looking at these Tesco home brand steak bakes. There is two of them in this little box and they were £1.50 I believe. I'll just put it on the screen there to be sure but I'm nearly sure they're £1.50. Okay the first thing we'll look at is the little traffic light system. Now, this is per, per bake. Fat 10.4 grams, of which saturates 5.1, sugar's 3.9, salt 0 0.7. And it is saying they're roughly about 30 minutes to cook this from frozen. Now that'll be oven. So Tesco's two steak bakes, flaky puff pastry filled with tender pieces of beef steak and a thick and meaty gravy. Sounds delicious. See the picture looks good. If it looks like that, we're in for a treat. That looks like some good steak there. Let's see if that's what we get. On the side, nothing, nothing. Just the best before date. Okay, straight to the back then. Once again, guys, I'll keep that still as possible. And you can look through the ingredients here and tell me what you like the look of and what you don't like the look of. Let's see what sort of protein we're going to be getting from this little meal. Per bake, 12.5 grams protein per bake. And as I said, guys, that's what I really look at because I'm always looking to see him. I'm getting the protein I need every day. Now, the cooking instructions. Now, it doesn't give us the option for air fryer, but we are going to use the air fryer. But anyway, what's it say about the oven? So, a fan assist oven, 200 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, and you have to cook these from frozen. So we all know how to work with that in the oven and we're not going to do that anyway. We are going to go for the air fryer because I just think it's more efficient, quicker. So I would say if say in 30, 25, 30 minutes, I'll try 15 to 20 in the air fryer and see how that turns out. A puff pastry bake encasing pieces of steak in a gravy sauce. Just keep it frozen. It's how it's stored, we all know that. It's just common sense. Um, recycle the the box obviously our promise we make every effort to ensure our products are of the best possible quality that's why we are happy to refund or replace any Tesco product which doesn't live up to your expectations just as a member of staff this does not affect your statutory rights for more information please visit tesco.com tell me has anybody ever done anything like that is anything actually in and um, said they weren't happy for a product a food product like and got it replaced let me know in the comments 280 grams this little meal anything else we need to read there no we've read this stuff so many times in all our videos i just let you read that about allergy advice and all that you just let me know okay let's look in the box no it's one of these little well i'm messing it up it's supposed to rip across like that there we go we got it in the end Oh, it's not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, I just <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So, with the size of my palm of my hand. Good solid little brick. Two of them. Okay, so I'll just get those into the air fryer and I'll bring you back when they're ready to eat. And there we have it. All done. That one there has slightly bust open, but this one here is perfectly intact still. So I end up putting them on for 25 minutes at 180 degrees in the air fryer because I want to just get that nice golden crisp. So We'll cut this one open here. See, it's already busted. Give you a bit of a look inside. Piping hot, burning the hand off me. Lots of gravy. 
There's chunks of meat, there's meat. We'll get a better look at it when we're eating it. Same with this one, I'm trying not to burn myself. Yeah, there is a few bits of meat, mostly gravy, but a few bits of meat in there. We'll leave that one intact for now. I'm going to try this one first. Okay, let's try it. Piping, piping hot. Mmm, like lava. Burnt my hand. First impressions, tasty. I should have waited about another five minutes to it cooled a bit. Be easier to eat it and review it for you. Oh, that's too hot. But let's dissect a bit. So there's a bit of steak. One bit. There's another piece, that's two. Those first bites I had there was no steak in them. Two. Tiny bit, three. Another tiny bit, three and a half. So, um, here we have just the pastry of the first one, the first half of the first one. That's good. They're cooked to perfection. Same again, that's just gravy now. And the bottom half of that, first half of the first one, <laughs> makes sense. I'm talking gibberish here now. So there's still a full half left of the first one and there was like three and a half pieces of meat in that bit. So that's that one done. So let's see how much meat we have in this other half here. I'm gonna keep this one intact and make that one like that. This is messy. So that's just pastry and gravy. I put that to the side. Again, there's one wee bit of meat on that, so it's like a tiny little bit of meat on that. I'll eat this. Mmm. Really crispy. And tasty. Again, I had the salt and pepper on standby, but it doesn't need it. So, we'll finish this little bit here and see how much more meat we have. Well, there's one more tiny bit of meat there, and that is it really, for, that's what's like, like four pieces of meat, or little bits of meat, but there's 75p each at the end of the day, so, there's the rest of the pastry. Mmm, very good, very good. And here we have one that's fully intact. I'm expecting this to burn the mouth off me because I'll be roasting hot in there. But we're going to get it anyway. Lucky enough, just pastry that time there, so going again. Mmm. Very good. That was a good little find. I 
and they don't need any salt and pepper. I always have that at the ready when it comes to these sort of things, so the meats and gravies and they give it a bit of an extra flavour, but it doesn't need it. It's fine the way it is. Just I would give them at least five by ten minutes after you've cooked them for them to cool down, unless you were to cut them up and let them cool, but for keeping them tight like that, you need a bit of cool time where you get up with serious burnt mouth issues. But that's a good little snack for 75p. 75p for each of them, 150 for the two. Obviously you can't buy them separately, but you know I'm getting that. <coughs> right. right, one more roasting hot bite, and then we'll give it a score. Oh, that was the last one, yeah. Okay. I really like them. Another excellent little find. 1.50, 75p each. And they're a sufficient little lunch snack, you know? And they're, and they're very tasty as well. Tell me what you think whenever you um, go through the ingredients. Um, is there anything for any reason you wouldn't eat these in these ingredients? And um, well, as for taste and texture, first class. Really good. Gravy is really nice. Nice flavour to it. It's not bland when you get some of these gravies. It's just there's no flavour. It's like brown water. But there's, there's flavour to that. The meat, okay. Maybe not the best cuts of meat. I may not lots of it. But what do you expect? You know, there's not a bit of meat there. Pastry. Phenomenal. If you cook it right. If you time it right. And just keep an eye on it. And then once you've got your, the hang of your air fryer. And you get the right settings. You want to. The way you like yours. I like my crispy and golden brown. Once you get the right settings and the right time, um, you, you can make them first class. You know, they're, they're better than you get in Greg's. So what would I give them? First of all, would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. I will get them some more. And they'll get stocked up in there. Score-wise, for a tasty little lunch, meal, snack, whatever you call it, 7.5 all day. 7.5, yes, indeed. I'm going to finish this one. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.